I love to look at my photo albums and my scrapbooks. I'm Lisa Givens. This is my caregiver confession. You know, it's so normal when someone you love is sick or dying to want to go back to the way things were. You know, and this reminds you of all those beautiful moments, but the reality is you got to live in the present and take care of business today. And that can mean, oh my gosh, my family's falling apart. That's what it felt like to me because my mom who got Alzheimer's was the rock in our family. You know, one of those mothers who just made everything work. But whether it's your spouse or your mom or your dad, if this important person is losing it, then that means you're probably going to think, how are we going to keep it together? But you can. And one of the ways to do that is just to have a check-in moment. Maybe it's a family meeting around dinner. If you're in all different parts of the country, that's okay. You can use a free conference call service. You can Skype if that's possible for you. The idea is just to make sure that everyone is heard. Maybe you're not going to agree with everyone, but that's not as important as just making sure that you come to the table with your emotions and with your needs. There's always going to be somebody who's in denial, always going to be somebody who's you know, got a commotion going on or who's creating conflict over here, and that's, that's okay. That's the way it goes. But this is the time to go from conflict to consensus. You may not get everything that you want, but you'll get something towards the solution, and that's really what's important. You know, when you get a cut physically, all of your physical resources, your white blood cells, everything goes there to take care of that wound. So when there's an emotional wound in your family, it makes sense that all of your energy and reserves are going to go there too. Just try to be aware that while that's happening, there are all these other people and the rest of the unit that still needs care and attention as well. So as much as you can, come together. Reach out for help, which you'll find a lot of it at caring.com. It's a great resource for caregiver tips, lots of good advice and support. You're not alone.